The Honor Society is meeting today after school in Ms. Versado's room B114. Any student quali who qualifies for a Renaissance coupon, please see Ms. Olson in room C216 before or after school this week. Multicultural Week will be December 3rd through the 7th. The assembly trials are, are November 14th at 3 p.m. in the dance room. Come with at least half of your routine to show. Come show us your amazing cultures. Now on to more news. Hunter High would like to congratulate the following nominees for Sterling Scholar. Natalia Warren for Business and Marketing, Nelson Tran for Computer Technology, Annabelle Smith for Dance, Sa Sandra Del Rio Madrigo for English, Matthew Horn for Family and Computer Sciences, Olivia Olszewski for Instrumental Music, Jessica Anaya for Mathematics, Brittany Kuhn for Science, Hayden Peterson for Skilled and Technical Sciences, Laura Hamlet for Social Science, Diana Tran for Speech, Theater and Theater Arts and Forensics, Gwen Grunwald for Visual Arts, Emily Murray for Vocal Performance, and Aurora Veronica for Patio for World Languages. Congratulations to you guys. Utah College Application Week is this week. It will take place during English classes. Seniors, if you need to boost your CPA for graduation, come file your FAFSA on Wednesday, November 7th at Hunter High Library from 5 to 7 p.m. Come join Deco at our movie night. We will be watching The Nutcracker and the Four Realms on November 13th. Make sure to bring $5 to the Jordan Landing Cinemark. See you there. Anybody interested in attending region competition for FBLA needs to come to a mandatory meeting today after school in Ms. Briner's room. If you cannot attend the meeting, talk to Ms. Briner by Wednesday. Registration is due to tomorrow the, at the 8th. Tanner Lunsford has been chosen as Hunter High's Wendy's School Heisman student. He will now compete for a state, so state selection. He may win a scholarship. Anyone interested in attending region competition for FELA needs to come to a mandatory meeting today after school in Ms. Briner's room. If you can't attend the meeting, talk to Ms. Briner today. Registration is due Thursday 8th. Weather! Today's weather is going to be sunny with the temperature going as high as 50 degrees and the humidity ranging from 26% to 47% and the winds going as high as 9 miles per hour. Now on the community news. Utah Afghan community heartbroken over Ma Mayor Tyler Taylor's death. People who have moved here from Afghanistan are looking at Mayor Taylor's death as a devastating tragedy. They moved here to get away from the war happening over there. The Utah Afghan community feels sad that Americans have to leave their family and possibly kids to help fight. Saying that Americans help them fight for their values and the mayor's death had to be a part of that. Um, our thoughts with the community and the family of Mayor Taylor. National news. In national news, the long-awaited results of midterm elections are here. It looks like the Democrats are in the lead and have gained 28 seats. Now, fun news! Today is the first Wednesday of November. It's also National Stress Awareness Day, so today try to reduce your stress. Furthermore, did you know that there is around 450 types of cheese and around 240 of them come from France? Hey, what happened when the tornado destroyed the French cheese factory? All that's left was debris! <laughs> On today's sports, we have girls basketball tryouts at 2.30 to 6. Good luck, girls. Don't forget we also have wrestling practice 2.30 to 6 p.m. and basketball practice at 2.10 till 5. And that's all for today's sports news. Go Wolverines! That's all, folks. Join us next time for more news. Have, have a, a great, great day! day.